What's going on, fellas? Today we're going to start a series of tests for Sean. I'm going to get a baseline of uh, temperatures of the fuels so that when they go to use this stuff in the future, it'll, we'll know whether or not it's even worth their time. He has mentioned that people have told him waste oil will be the hottest. I have found the exact opposite, that in fact waste oil is the coldest of the fuels. So we're going to start off again with this little makeshift forge foundry whatever you want to call it i've got a mixture of uh, sodium bicarbonate and silica sand in there and my goal today is to melt that crucible <laughs> Okay, I got earplugs on and my ears are still ringing. We have boiled the crucible, guys. Now the thermocouple was not registering the temperature of the object we're heating, obviously. That thing is still boiling hot. I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna try to take it out. I don't know what, what I don't want it to ruin a crucible. You gotta hurry up. It'll probably just pull right away from the spud on the bottom. Oh, that's hot. Son of a gun. Look at that thing. Well, we're headed in the right direction out. We're melting steel. Um, we know we're hitting 2400 degrees. And we haven't even tried yet. We'll let everything cool off. I uh, don't know how long that was. We burnt about, let's see, 600. 
750 milliliters of fuel to do that not bad so this thing got hot pretty quick um, you do need to learn how to use this thing to get it to dial in just perfectly but uh, I saw boiling steel fellas I don't know if that was off gassing but I'm telling you right now I saw boiling iron if anyone has any input of what they think I might have seen um, if, if you think it wasn't boiling iron let me know I want to find out what the boiling temperature of iron was because I'm pretty sure that's where we were at but that right there is a success dude and you seen how fast we did that if the crucible would have lasted another uh, half hour I think we might have got a full melt on that bad for a benchmark test guys I currently do not own a crucible capable of withstanding anything beyond stainless steel temperatures so I'm thinking maybe our next goal will be to just melt a piece of fire brick or something I don't know <laughs> let's check the crucible out you caused a little bit of damage in there I'll get that stuff out and uh, we'll figure something else out for the most part uh, not too shabby There's a big old wet section right there yeah it looks wet but that is glass we're definitely on our way This will basically be our benchmark test. All other tests will be examined using this particular one as a sounding board. Is it better or worse? Maybe we'll set up something called the diesel standard. Kind of like, you know, they have a copper standard for conductivity. Silver being 105%. I was initially leaning towards something this complex. We would, of course, we can go ahead and eliminate this shroud now. <laughs> But basically what I wanted to do is put the whole burner inside of a box that has a little door that you open up to light it. And then you would close the door. And essentially we would have air intakes in the front that would let the air come in and get on the hot combustor, travel in to the burner in that direction. Also the incoming air pressure from the compressor would wrap around a coil that would then be diverted directly into the Venturi nozzle, which would uh, preheat the air it would also turbocharge the air in the sense that similar to the way a jet engine works 